I might make a couple videos on drop shipping since I have experience in e-commerce and all this stuff. There's plenty of people that already do it, so there's no right. need for it, right? That market has already been satisfied. I don't have to go and make another introductory course on drop shipping. That shit already exists. But what about all the other stuff that hasn't yet come into the market? What are all the solutions and answers that people are looking for that have yet to be answered? And I think I have a few of those. For answers, they're looking for how to level up their personal life, their finances, their relationships, their network, and their business. And that's where kind of I've fit in that gap based off of experience, equanimity, relatability and results yeah have you ever read books in Spanish like yeah of course and I mean I grew up in Argentina so uh, everything was in Spanish people ask me Luke why is your English so good the thing is my parents made me go to an English school so half of the day was English school and half of the day was Spanish school it was one of those American schools yeah. that and I do like uh, aid and in come and take care of like the poor kids and teach them English and stuff like that. So I did that for like five years and that's where I got my English down real good. But once you start having normal conversations with me, you'll realize I'm not American because of all, what do they call them? Colloquialisms or like the sayings and that Americans use that I don't know, or I don't understand, or I, I don't understand the joke or the American humor or whatever it may be. Uh, but people are like, oh, this kid's white, blue eyes must be American. Yeah, but, I would have never guessed, honestly. Argentino, but... Argentino, papi, Argentino. Oh, buena, buena. That's the name of the game. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, actually, the, <laughs> congrats you told on the, the, that you on speak the World Spanish, Cup, bro. Oh, bro, what a game, bro. That what was a match. such a satisfying what a match, game. Dude. It was satisfying because here's the thing about Messi. And... And it's and I'm not a, and I'm not one of those guys that praises the circus show of sports and the 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 craziness that's attached to it and and your entire life revolves around a soccer player, a football player, whatever you want to call it. And but when you look at Messi, bro, when you see that guy move, you can tell. Real quick, if you appreciate these clips and interviews that I put forward for you, then please make sure you use our Shopify link in the description to start your own Shopify business with an exclusive deal. And also make sure you check out akimilab.com for additional resources, free tools, guides, and just a lot of interesting stuff that will help your journey, even some software deals that are exclusive to akimilab.com. So make sure you do that and continue watching the video. It's a master at work. You can tell it's a master craft, uh, craftsman it's a it's a person that has understood the nature of football at a deep at, at, at its deepest level you see him it's just some wizardry magic that i've never really experienced and being able to witness that is something that i think most people will never have the benefit of enjoying and I, the fact that we were able to watch a world cup final and messi lift bro messi lifted up a world cup like that, that shit was so beautiful bro it was like out of a movie straight up a movie brother we live in a movie yeah we <laughs> really do so that's incredible yeah that's so incredible i mean i i want to just get right into it because there's so many things that i want to talk to you about that i've been saving for this podcast obviously there's a lot of current events i want to talk about that i want to talk about how they tie in into money markets because i know you're big into mm -hmm. money markets and you're definitely one of the best people to talk to about that in this space so i'm definitely looking forward to that um Let's just begin. What have you been up to in the last six months since last time we talked? Yeah, dude. So phew, last six months, um, I think the first podcast I did was with you. Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, well, that was pretty good. And yeah, I was like, let me do a couple more podcasts. Let me shoot some vlogs and shit kind of took off. Yeah. Um, so I was like, maybe I do this YouTube shit for, for a few years for, for a while since uh, crypto did extremely well. E-commerce did extremely well. I want a new paradigm. And as the the world evolves and as currency shift and as um, what is a value changes, you have to move and change with the times. And there's leverage in power and numbers. And I think that the message of self-development and the pursuit of your fullest potential has resonated with a lot of people at a, at a very deep level, especially over the last two years. A lot of people made money, lost money. They're extremely humbled, right? They were humbled by the markets. They were humbled uh, by the events taking place and they're looking now for answers. They're looking for how to level up their personal life, their finances, their relationships, their network and their business. And that's where kind of, I guess I've fit in that gap uh, based off of experience, equanimity, relatability and results, which is extremely important is actually having results tied to your name and then having people that have taken what you've said, implemented it and now it doesn't only work for you, but it's replicatable, which is an essential ingredient to 
finding people that you want to listen to and people that you want to pour into your life and that you want to take advice from is what they're saying, right? Or teaching or sharing replicatable and duplicatable in my life. And that's the, the approach that I have towards this entire social dynamic uh, that I'm kind of venturing into is making sure that uh, the content that is created is not only evergreen, right? And what I mean by evergreen is that if your grandkids watch it, the principles, the truth attached to it is still relevant. Mm. That's why it's, it's going to be very difficult to find me. I might make a couple of videos on dropshipping since I have experience in e-commerce and all this stuff, but I want to transcend the average uh, tutorial video and thing. And there's plenty of people that already do it. So there's no right. need for it, right? There's that market has already been satisfied. I don't have to go and make another introductory course on dropshipping. That shit already exists. But what about all the other stuff that hasn't yet come into the market? What are all the, the solutions and answers that people are looking for that have yet to be answered? And I think I have a few of those. Oh, 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 oh,